They say when you're dead, you're supposed to go straight to wherever it is that you're supposed to go. You're supposed to go straight up or straight down. But sometimes it doesn't happen like that. You don't always cross over right away. Sometimes you're left here on earth, surrounded by people who can't see you and speaking to people who can't hear you. They say that this happens because you had some kind of unfinished business, something you left unresolved while you were alive. But until you figure out what that is, you're half here and half gone. You're stuck right in the middle, just hanging. By now you are all probably wondering who I am. My name is Adam, and I'm what you might call fucking dead. That happened a few weeks ago. Ever since then, my gruesome death, I mean, I've tried to continue my life as just a normal college student. And then the nun goes, Nuh-uh, not in my house. <laughs> <laughs> that was your great, uh, I can't even. I got a great one though, ready? So like. Oh, that reminds me of another joke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you go ahead. No, just, I'll go next though, okay guys? Knock, knock. Who's there? Me. Me who? Oh, gotcha. Yeah, so as you can see, some of the other students have had trouble hearing me, seeing me, not shivering with fear whenever I'm in their presence, but I don't think it's so bad. And hey, at least you all have to listen to me, right? <laughs> I'm so alone. I started to realize I could never be truly happy here on Earth, but I had no way out. Not to go all Casper on you, because that's some wimpy shit, but I knew what I had to do was resolve my unfinished business. Then I could finally cross over. The problem was, I had no idea what that unfinished business could be. I didn't even know where to start. That was until I saw her, Melissa. That was the girl who did this to me. She's the reason I'm here. She's the one who cursed me to wander eternally. Okay, Adam, you sing this and we win. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> All right. Eight ball, corner pocket. Woo! We won! Nice game, guys. So you want to take us out for dinner? Adam, where are you going? They owe us 20 bucks. What's his problem? Why would she do that? Melissa! We were playing pool, and we won. I went to go give her a high five, and she... she... She left me hanging, man. No. No, it, it, what do you mean? It, it's not just kind of a rude thing. No. Just a high five. Nobody understands. She don't understand. Why does nobody understand? That's it. My unfinished business. What an asshole. It's no use. What's no use? Who are you? I'm Chelsea. Nice to meet you, fellow apparition. You're another ghost, but how could you hear me just now? I was thinking to myself. It's a ghost thing. If we're near enough, we could hear each other's thoughts. Cool, right? Wait, but how come I can't hear your thoughts? Because I just say every thought I have out loud at all times. Man, that's the outfit you died in? That blows. How long have you been listening? As long as you've been here. You've been listening to my inner monologue since I died? Yeah, and I must say, what a sad, moody boy you are. Whatever. This is a waste of time. I have to go high-five this girl. Wait, why do you have to high-five her? Because it's my unfinished business. <laughs> That's the dumbest thing I've heard, but okay, I'll roll with it. Okay, well, what's yours? I still don't know. You don't know? Well, how long have you been here? Just turned 40 last week. I know I look young. I get carded all the time. Okay, well, if, if you help me with mine, I'll help you figure out yours. Helping people isn't really my style, but what I will do is stand there and watch. Like, something interesting. Like that, that sounds so good. Yeah. I would, I would love to try that, yeah. It's huge. Did you feel that? It was like a, a cold breeze or something. I felt it earlier. Like the wind? Hello? 
Is somebody here? Ah! Oh my god, Mel, what's wrong? There's something in here, Max. I think it's a ghost. Are you kidding me? That's why you woke me up? You're not funny. And no, really, I've been feeling like weird chills, like in my hand. So you're saying your hand is haunted? I, I know it sounds crazy, but you have to believe me. Hardy har, Mel. Good night. Well, she's on to you now, bro. God, I'm gonna be stuck here forever. What if I actually started helping you? Like, even with your help, it's hopeless. I can't... I pass right through her. For fuck's sake, stop feeling sorry for yourself and use your head. So you can't go to her, but maybe you can make her come to you. You kill her, Adam. What? Are you crazy? Listen to me. She dies, she comes back as a ghost with us. You high-five her, bada-bing, bada-boom. You cross over. I can't kill her, though. I, I, I can't even touch her. You just scare her enough to give her a heart attack or something. Wow. God, what an awful way to go. Eh, I bet mine was worse. How did you die? I was trying to save a bunch of six-year-olds from a burning schoolhouse. I got them out, but I was caught under a beam. I was roasted alive. Holy shit, really? Nah, I'm just fucking with you. I owed you dot crystal meth. Of course. I... I... Don't take this the wrong way, but how did you not go straight to hell when you died? I'd like to think the big guy upstairs saw something in me. So are we doing this or now? Come on, Adam. Be like me. Be a little selfish. You're right. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't just. I can't just kill her. Pussy. Don't say I never say anything for you. Yikes. That's not how that was supposed to go. We put her in a mental hospital! Yeah, sorry about that. I still don't think it was a total loss, though. I mean, people die in mental hospitals all the time. How do you not feel guilty about this? Because I didn't do it for me, I did it for you. Why should I? Whoa. Wait a minute, I just realized something. That's my unfinished business. Excuse me? I never helped anyone else while I was alive. And so they gave me this test in limbo to see if I could actually help someone. And I did. I can finally cross over. But you helped by attempting to murder somebody. Goodbye, Adam. I hope you two find salvation someday. <sighs> Heaven is fucked up. I don't know what kind of logic they use to decide who crosses over and who doesn't, but they were right that I didn't deserve to. I could never forgive myself for what I did, or was about to do, to Melissa. So here I would stay, stuck forever in a guilt-ridden purgatory, until one day, Excuse me, where are we? Melissa. Adam? But you're... Oh my god, am I dead? Holy shit, I was struck by lightning. I'm sorry, Melissa. Why are you sorry? It was an accident. No, I'm sorry because I tried to kill you like five years ago. Oh my god, you're the ghost that kept trying to touch my hand? That's right, and I... I never forgave myself for it. Oh, it's fine. You're not upset? Of course not. I got a kick-ass movie deal out of it. I died rich. Now, where are we? Purgatory. It's where you end up when you have unfinished business left on Earth. I have no idea what my unfinished business is. I think I know. <laughs>